our sins and griefs to bear And what a privilege to carry Let us begin the celebration of our school feast with a song There's a place where mercy reigns and never dies. There's a place where streams of grace flow deep and wide. Where all the like a flood comes flowing down at the cross at the cross I surrender my life I'm in all of you I'm in all of you where your love ran red in my sin Today we are celebrating our school feast, the feast of the exaltation of the cross. Children, you and we all belong to the extended family of sisters of the cross. Therefore, it is a feast of everyone. It is a day of rejoicing. I now request Sister Lily to come and give an introduction, introductory speech on this great event and enlighten us on the importance of our school feast. Today is the celebration of the school feast, the feast of the exaltation of the cross. When the world goes in darkness with sin, immorality and hatred God our Father sent His only Son to save the mankind. Hence, God chose Mary, a sinless Jewish lady, to give birth to God's only Son. He grew up in wisdom and understanding and learned the law of the land and scripture through his parents according to the Jewish custom. When he was of age, he began to question the teachers of that era, mainly Pharisees and scribes. This brought about disunity and as a consequence, the Pharisees plotted against Jesus. Though Jesus knew all about it, he went about doing good, preaching, healing and curing the people from all sorts of illnesses. He became very popular. So according to the Jewish custom, he was sentenced to death the worst death a criminal could be awarded was crucifixion. That is why we honor and venerate the cross of Jesus because he died on the cross and he was risen on the third day. Keeping this in mind, this little history, let us revere and honor the cross of Jesus who died for the entire humanity. I now request Sister Lily and entire staff members to offer flowers and venerate the cross of Jesus.
the cross. The two pieces of wood acquired meaning and words because Jesus died on it. The cross is no more a shame. It is a sign of victory. The sight of the cross makes Satan flee. The cross brings healing to the sick, strength to the weak, and salvation to all. In the cross is salvation. In the cross is life. In the cross is protection against our enemies. In the cross is infusion of heavenly sweetness. In the cross is strength of mind. In the cross is joy of spirit. In the cross is excellence of virtue. In the cross is perfection of holiness. We pray you, crucified Lord, for the children and young people, that they may be protected from becoming a victims of peer pressure and the modern evil of media media, drinks, drugs and smoking. May they use their youthful energies to build themselves and for peace. We make this prayer in your mighty name. Amen. Our sins and griefs to bear. Today, we have with us our three sisters who have embraced the cross of Jesus. We are unfortunate that all the sisters are not able to be with us. We have in Jesus all our sins and griefs. Dear Sister Lily, you are compassionate, empathetic, and very caring. Compassion is the wish to see others free from suffering. Sister, you are really very compassionate towards everyone. You are always ready to help those who are in need. Empathy means to understand and share the feeling of another. Dear sister, you are having this most beautiful virtue to understand the feeling of others, not only the in teachers and students, but also in all the parents, all whom you meet daily. This is really being empathy. And what a privilege to care. Hard work is the only key to achieve everything. It teaches us discipline, dedication, and determination. Dear Sister Fiona, you are very hardworking and you always do your office work very diligently. This virtue makes you very confident and a capable person in your mission. Devotion. True devotion means becoming the hand of the divine. Whatever comes your way, you will know how to transform it into something beautiful. Sister Fiona, you are fully devoted to your work and to your religious life. You know how to handle every situation in a more beautiful way. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sin. Today, we are blessed to have you with us, Sister Mary. Sister, you are simple, approachable, and affectionate. We have met you occasionally and understood how approachable you are. This quality in you make you devoted follower of Jesus. Your life is an example for all of us. It invites us to imitate your simplicity of life. Approachability and affectionate nature and dust become a part of Holy Cross family. So dear friends, let us thank them and honor them and pray for them that they may continue the work of God assigned to them. Let us watch a beautiful performance on this auspicious occasion.
I wish you all a very happy feast of the exaltation of the cross. It is our school feast, so I wish all of you, my dear children, my staff members, my dear parents, a very happy feast. God bless you all. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. And what a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer.